How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the MCU. And today we have some exciting news about Spider-Man 3. Now, as I mentioned in a recent video, Marvel Studios is basically opened back up. The crew for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Loki series, and the Hawkeye series has already moved back into Atlanta to begin preparation for filming of these shows. So Marvel production is back and at it, which means we're going to start to get a lot more news, a lot more leaks, photos, and videos. And if you caught one of my update videos on Spider-Man 3, you know that production for Spider-Man 3 is going to happen sometime this fall. And this this has been confirmed by Tom Holland himself. He confirmed that once he's done filming Uncharted, he will begin in the fall filming Spider-Man 3. And fall is only about one month away, which means Marvel Studios right now is getting ready to film Spider-Man 3, which means they're getting a lot of things in order. And one of those things that they are getting in order right now is the villain for Spider-Man 3. And it seems like today we might have found out who that villain is. And we also may have found out the actor that Marvel Studios is eyeing for that role. So I'll break down everything that you need to know about this report in this video. But first, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. And a big congratulations to YouTube user 2 Three. You're the winner of the Gambit Funko Pop. Just email me in the email in my about me section and we'll get you your Funko Pop. And this week we're giving away a Mysterio Funko Pop. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. So today's report about Spider-Man 3 and our possible discovery of who the villain is is coming from Charles Murphy. Charles has a pretty great track record when it comes to his reports. And in this report, it seems like Spider-Man 3 may have found its villain and the actor that it wants to play the villain. Now, this is pretty big news because we actually don't know that much about Spider-Man 3. Marvel and Sony have kept a pretty tight lid on what the plot for it actually is. We have somewhat of an idea of what the plot for it could be since the last time we saw Spider-Man, he was being framed for murder. We also know that Flash Thompson, one of Peter's classmates, is going to be returning. J.K. Simmons is going to be returning and reprising his role as J. Jonah Jameson. And of course, Zendaya is returning as well. And now, based off of this recent report from Charles Murphy, it's seems like Craven the Hunter could be the villain for Spider-Man 3. Now, this has been something that has been speculated a lot in the past as well, but there's a difference in our speculation today as there is a little bit more proof to back this up. According to Charles Murphy's report today on his website, murphysmultiverse.com, he says, it appears that Marvel Studios is looking for a Joel Kinnaman type for an unspecified role in the upcoming untitled Spider-Man sequel. So, a Joel Kinnaman type for an unspecified role in Spider-Man 3. Now, Charles Murphy specifically states that it only says they're looking for a Kinnaman type for an unspecified role. However, if we think about who he could be playing, everything points towards him playing Kraven the Hunter, and even Charles Murphy says that he would be perfect for it as well. Also, keep in mind that Marvel Studios says Joel Kinnaman type, just like they said in the past about Hulk, Allison Brie type, they say that just in case they can't get the actor that they want. So right now they're eyeing Joel Kinnaman for Craven the Hunter, but if they can't get him, they'll get somebody close to him, and that actually says a lot about the character. That means they're looking for a white male between 30 to 45, someone who is physically big, or at least can pack on the pounds to get physically big, which we know Joel Kinnaman can because he has done it in the past for roles, and somebody who is also a pretty big actor, someone who's had experience doing big movies and comic book movies, which Joel Kinnaman has because he was in the Suicide Squad. But those details, a white Caucasian who is big in size and between 30 to 45 years old, fits the bill for Kraven the Hunter. If we're talking about any of the other Spider-Man characters, like Dr. Octopus or Norman Osborn, he doesn't really fit the bill. It's much too young of a character to be Osborn, and it's much too of a physically big character to be Doc. And it doesn't really match anyone in the Sinister Six as well. So it looks like Marvel's casting him, or trying to cast somebody like him, for Kraven the Hunter, making Kraven the Hunter the villain for Spider-Man 3. Now, if this does in fact end up being true, it makes a lot of sense. Spider-Man is on the run. Kraven is a hunter, a bounty hunter. Someone could possibly hire Kraven to track down Spider-Man. It could even be Norman Osborn. Heck, it could even be J. Jonah Jameson. We don't really know much about the plot right now. However, there have been two rumors that have gone around that are pretty interesting. Now, keep in mind they're just rumors and not confirmed in any way, but they are interesting 
nonetheless, and one is that Craven the Hunter will have some kind of connection to Wakanda. Perhaps he's hunted there before. Now, this is very interesting, but it also goes with the other rumor that Black Panther could end up being in Spider-Man 3 as well. Now, we pretty much know that from here on out, each Marvel movie is going to have a lot of characters in it. After all, the superhero world is pretty big now and a lot of the heroes know each other, so it would make sense that in their films, they would ask for help. And in this case, if Peter has a bounty hunter tracking him down who has tracked before in Wakanda, it would make sense that he would go to T'Challa. He would try and get some information from T'Challa. He would try and figure out a way to stop this guy. Because we have to remember that Peter is still just a teenager. He's still kind of just a kid. He's going to need some help. In each Spider-Man film, he had help. In the first one, he had Tony. In the second one, one, he had Happy, and kind of Nick Fury and Maria Hill who was secretly Talos and his wife. But another thing about this villain would be that he would actually kind of be sort of a co-lead. If we look back to Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, both actors that played the villains were huge actors, Michael Keaton and Jake Gyllenhaal. But they were also huge as far as their presence was concerned. They were basically co-leads to the movie, especially Mysterio. So it seems like Spider-Man 3 may follow that as well, which is why they would need a pretty big actor that has some really good experience in comic book movies such as Joel. Kinnaman. And if we think about it, he really is the perfect fit to play Craven the Hunter. He's 6'2", he can be really muscular to play the role, and if you look at his face, it actually really works for Craven the Hunter. And he has experience doing comic book movies because of the Suicide Squad. So Marvel really does know how to cast. Now one thing that is very interesting is that if this truly is the villain of Spider-Man 3, that actually means that there's probably somebody behind Craven. Now Craven is one of Spider-Man's most notable enemies. He's a huge Spider-Man enemy, but he's also a bounty hunter. So the question is, if Kraven the Hunter is the villain of Spider-Man 3, which seems very, very likely now due to this casting call, the question is, who hired him? Who put the bounty on Spider-Man's head and does he want him dead or alive? We know that Marvel and Sony are now playing very nicely with each other. In fact, we know that Spider-Man is supposed to go on and lead the new Avengers along with Captain Marvel, so Spider-Man should be in the MCU for a pretty long time now. This means that it is very possible that whoever hired Kraven the Hunter to take down Spider-Man could be the next Spider-Man villain in the next film we get. And this could be Norman Osborn. This could be Doctor Doom. This could be somebody truly big. And perhaps we could be getting the introduction of the next major villain, not to just Spider-Man, but to the MCU in its entirety in Spider-Man 3. Now again, keep in mind that Charles Murphy says that the casting call did not mention Kraven, it just mentioned an untitled role for Spider-Man 3, but everything about the description seems to fit the bill of Kraven the Hunter, so it seems like that's going to be the villain of Spider-Man 3. So let me know what what you think about this in the comments down below. Would you be happy with Kraven the Hunter being the main villain of Spider-Man 3? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.